Hi everyone, welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. Hi, happy early November. Boy, Christmas is just around the corner. We've got Thanksgiving in three weeks and Christmas right behind it. Hope you're getting your holiday projects started, if not finished up, because it is that time of year. Um, a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Please, if you like my video, please share my video, comment, share down in the comments, and your name will be entered to in a drawing to win the project I work on tonight. Last week, I made this peace card. While it's, it's intended for Christmas, um, I think it would be great for a lot of other events too. So the winner of this is Karen Thomas. So Karen, I will get this out to you within the next couple of days. Um, if you if you can't share my video, I understand. Would you mind giving my video some hearts? Facebook likes the hearts better than the thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and um, helps it be seen by more people. Doesn't cost you anything and just helps out my small business. So I appreciate that. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel and then click that little blue bell and you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video, which is most every Monday evening. Okay, so um, I guess I don't have anything else before we get started. I have a great Christmas card to share with you today and I think I'm going to change the view down to my hands and we will get started. Okay, so tonight we are going to, or I'm going to use the Hanging Ornament Bundle. It, um, you know, the stamp sets have these great kind of floral, they're not floral, but greenery images. Um, super simple, super fun, lots of potential here with this set. What's really cool is, and I'll show you when we get to it, this this die that cuts out these ornaments i don't know if you can tell there's a little gap right here see there's four or three little ones right there and what that does is that allows us to make it like a tear off and somebody could actually hang this ornament up if you see there's a hole in the top it, it cuts out that hole and i realize my i have a piece of paper and there's still from when I cut out my, to make my sample. So yeah, it's um, it's really cool, a lot of fun. We're not gonna be using that feature, but I hopefully I'll remember to show you. Um, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 12 ornaments, or 12 dies that go with it. And you see it has the little pull, so you can you know, tell people to pull it and take it off and they can hang it on their tree. Super cool. So I, I like this um, bundle a lot. So here's the card we're gonna do tonight. All is Mary. Now again, I didn't make this as a tear off, but you certainly, certainly could. And we will get, we will do, get started now. Whoops, hold on, I just dropped something. Okay, so now my base of my card I am going to use um, Berry Vanilla. Now, Stampin' Up! discontinued with the current catalog, the thick Berry Vanilla, but I have a couple packs of it left, so that's what I'm using for my base. You can use the other Berry Vanilla, the one that's 40 sheets to a pack, but it just makes not quite as stable a card base. So, well, for the most part, it's okay for making a card base. Card base, if it's something that's super heavy, has lots of layers, something like that, might not. It might not be the best option for you. So, okay, there's the base. I've used that to. Um, I've used the bone folder to fold the crease to burnish the crease. Okay, now we're using our our uh, card here. This is. Pretty Peacock. This is five and a quarter by four. We're using this 
this designer series paper look the measurement is five and a quarter by one and a half and this is the hold on I think I, I used it before season of green and gold maybe I have it this is an online exclusive but it's really gorgeous paper let me get this I was thinking I had used this on a pattern for a pattern but maybe or a card on here but maybe I have it um, so it's lots of different shades of green and gold. Not necessarily Christmas. I think you could use this for a lot of reasons, a lot of occasions. Here's some green with the gold mixed, which I think is gorgeous. But we're using this. It looks like the stars. There's this gold here. Look at that. That's pretty. So, um, and then the other thing we're using, which, did I use it last week? No, I must have used it a couple weeks ago, was the gold foil sheets, okay? So that's our designer series paper. So this, let me go over these measurements again. This card stack is five and a quarter by four. The designer series paper, which is, is five and a quarter by one and a half, and this gold strip is five and a quarter by three eighths. And I've made these two, I think, or at least one of them a little bit longer so I can trim it off. I like to do that. Because I'd, I'd rather have it just a little long than a little short, okay? So we're gonna start. And this paper, although it doesn't seem directional, yeah, I guess it's not. Just in my head it is. So we're going to put adhesive on here. And I'm going to use the bottom as my end to line up here. Okay. And then this is my gold strip. I'm going to line that up right there. You could emboss this piece if you wanted to. I just... I didn't feel like it needed it. You could. I mean, I think this would, this card would also be very pretty done in Night of Navy. Okay, let me line that up down there. Let's see. Okay. Let me trim this off. See, I'd rather trim this off than have it be a little bit short. But still, even if it's short, you can just trim the bottom of the cardstock off. That's all you have to do there. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this so that it gets doesn't get lost or something. It's just, and then we will get into the stamping. If you notice, we're going to do some heat embossing, which is actually one of my favorite things to do. Hold on here. And fold that quite even. Hold on, I wanna I wanna straighten this out. It's just off a little bit. Probably doesn't even make any difference to anybody, but you know what I'll do? I'll do this. There we go. Okay, that's on there. Now we are going to start on our ornament. Okay, have a piece of pretty peacock. Let me get my mat. This is a photopolymer stamp. Here's this, there's the one I'm gonna use. Let's see. And we need to stamp this in Versamark. Okay, remember Versamark, if you're not familiar with it, it's just like clear ink. And this is what the embossing powder will stick to. Now normally, I on a dark, especially on a dark color, I would use my embossing buddy. But since we are cutting this out, pretty close to the um, image itself. I'm not quite as concerned about any stray embossing powder. But sometimes if you're like embossing something and there's gonna be a lot of um, area around still showing, you definitely wanna use your embossing buddy. Okay, so this is my gold embossing powder. 
This is my favorite way to do this. I just have these old plastic containers. And I bought, found a, like a package of 20 of these little spoons at the dollar store back when it was still really a dollar. They were in the party section and they're just perfect. There we go. I don't have any real stray um, embossing powder, so that's good. And before you heat emboss, before you turn the heat gun on, make sure you put the uh, lid back on so you don't blow your embossing powder all over the place. Um, okay, so we're gonna turn the heat gun on. We're going to, you're gonna watch this melt, okay? This might be a little loud, so, but it won't take long, but I want you to watch how you can just see it melt. I start, my technique is I start in one place and hold it there until it starts melting, and then I start moving around and it doesn't take any time at all. So watch this. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That is so pretty, I just love that. Okay, and that heat gun is hot, so you want something larger, like a larger piece of paper, or you want a um, something to hold it with, like some tweezers or something like that. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and we will, we will stamp our sentiment before we pull out the die stamping cut and emboss machine. So this square is very vanilla. It's the lightweight, very vanilla. And with Pretty Peacock ink, I'm going to stamp the sentiment. This is All is Mary. Um, I may get end up getting my head in the shot. I'm sorry, but I want to make sure I get this lined up straight. I had some troubles when I was doing my first one and had a hard time getting it straight, so. Ah, a little off, but it, not too bad. Not too bad, I guess. Okay, so that's there. Actually, I can attach this to the card also. I'm going, when I put, attach the ornament to the front, I'm going to put that one on dimensionals. I'd like to only, you could put this one on dimensionals, but I tend to like having just one layer of dimensionals. Otherwise, you run the risk of your card being too thick and requiring extra postage. Okay, so I'm going to bring over my mini stamping cut and emboss machine. Um, let me see, where are my dies? Here are my dies. There's my circle. And then I'm going to have to cut the strip to go in the center of it. And the little top of the ornament. Okay. But we're going to start with this and we're going to do this first. Um, the one thing I found was kind of difficult because of the, this part up here is solid. It's a little hard sometimes to know if you have that part lined up correctly, but my thought is, at least for the card I'm making, you don't have to worry about it too much because you will be putting this little piece over it and it's not even gonna show. Let me get a piece of tape here. Piece of washi tape, let's see. Oh, here, here's a piece, okay. A piece of washi tape. Let me put this on here. I don't know. Let me put this up here so you can see it. There we go. Okay. 
I'm glad I took a second there. Let me take this off of here. Again, whenever I'm taping something down, I always tape it to a part that's not going to be part of the card, if I can. Okay. So remember I told you you could punch it out? See? It's held in by three little... Whoops, I took that one out, but it's still held by two. So you can, you can make it so they could punch this out. There's a hole in it. They could put a little hanger through it and have their own personalized little ornament. Let me, I'm just going to cut off those little tabby thing, these little nibs, if that's the right word, that are left. Okay, that worked good. Okay, there's our ornament. Now we have to die cut out these two pieces of gold, or in the gold. Remember that I said if you're die cutting and you're gonna have gold left on your card, just like, like on this, it's gonna show, you need to use, take care that your um, gold foil doesn't pick up the lines on the, that are on your uh, plates, because it will do that. So for my big machine, I have a plate that I only use on foil and it has very few you know marks on it so it minimizes the amount of of marks it makes on the foil and I've told you this before both my stamp and cut and bought machine bus machines I turn the um, sandwich over and store it this way helps them stay flat and not curl quite as much. So, put this one away. Put, oh, I gotta poke this out. There we go. There we go, yay. Get this stuff out of the way here. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna put this on the back or put the put some adhesive on the back of this. You could use green glue, but I'm going to tell you it's a it gets awfully messy, especially when you're using foil. It'll mess up your foil. This oh, see, look at that. I've got adhesive on the front of it and it looks horrible and it's not going to come out. So, I think we might do that piece again. So, We'll have to cut that again, but I'm going to go ahead and let's put this on here. There we go. I, I dented it a little bit with my fingernail, but okay, let me get another. I've got some scrap pieces of gold over here. Let me see. Is this long enough? Is this piece long enough? Yep. I didn't do a very good job cutting that straight. But there we go. Okay, one more time. Now, if that had just been a piece of regular DSP or even cardstock, I could have gotten the adhesive off of it. But even if I get the adhesive off the gold, it's still going to be kind of marred up and you're going to it's not going to look very pretty so and this is such a central focus of the card this piece it's right smack dab in the middle i wanted to make sure i didn't have any of that okay try this again and let's see I did it with this one just fine I think I'm gonna try it this way here I 
I'm really afraid to get the green Tombow blue out for fear I'm just going to make a mess out of it. So we've got enough. That seal sticks really well. So we put it right here. Now you, I could have also stamped the sentiment in the middle here in this space, but I decided not to. Sorry there, I was out of the screen. I decided not to. I decided to stamp the sentiment here, but I could have stamped it in that space if I wanted to. It, it would fit. So we are going to put our dimensionals on the back. Where are we at here? I'll probably put three on there. Then, we'll, we, then after this, we only have a couple more things to do. There we go. Now all I need to do is put some embellishments on here. Now these are the Adhesive Back Sparkle Gems. They come in black, white, and champagne. Um, while the champagne is not exactly the same as gold, it doesn't look bad. So we are going to use them. There's that. Okay. And finally I'm using the ribbon, the pretty peacock and gold metallic ribbon. It is one centimeter, three eighths of an inch, one centimeter, and I'm simply just tying a knot in this. It's not very bulky, it ties really nicely, it has a nice feel to it. I like this ribbon um, a lot. And I'm going to use a glue dot. See which way do I like my knot? Yeah, that's the nicer side. So I'm going to use a glue dot. Put that on there. And there you go. Okay, we are all done. It really isn't too hard, even with the embossing. So I hope you like this card. Please, again, share my video and comment shared in the comments, and I might be sending this to you next week. So for now, um, I will leave you, and I will see you next Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Bye, everybody.